Lecture 1D on the slope of a straight line. The slope of a straight line is the tangent of the angle it makes with the horizontal. That is, if a straight line makes an angle of theta with the horizontal line, then the slope denoted by m is defined to be m equal to tan theta. A line that slopes downward from right to left has positive slope. This is a line with positive slope that is m greater than zero. A line that sloped downward from left to right has negative slope. This is a line with negative slope m less than zero. A horizontal line has zero slope. That is, this line has slope m equal to zero. While a vertical line has infinite slope. That is, the slope of this line is m equal to infinity. Example one. Find the slope of a straight line whose inclination to the horizontal is A, 45 degrees, B, 135 degrees. Solution A, we recall that the slope of a straight line that makes an angle of theta with the horizontal is tan theta. So, for A, the slope M is equal to tan 45 degrees. And tan 45 degrees is equal to 1. B, M equals to tan 135 degrees. And tan 135 is equal to minus tan 180 minus 135. Which is equal to minus tan 45. And that will give us minus 1. The slope of a straight line passing through two points. The slope of a straight line passing through two given point A with coordinate x1, y1 and B with coordinate x2, y2 is given by M equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Proof. Let this be our point A and this be the point B. This is a straight line joining the two points. Let us draw a horizontal line through A and a vertical line through B. These two lines meet at right angle at the point C. The distance from A to C is x2 minus x1. Why the distance from B to C is Y2 minus Y1. Let the inclination of the straight line AB with the horizontal be this angle, which is theta. Then, by definition, the slope M of the straight line AB is equal to tan theta. But we know that triangle ABC is a right angle triangle with right angle at the point C. This is the hypotenuse side. This is the opposite side. Why this is the adjacent side. And tan of this angle is defined as the opposite 
all over the adjacent. That is, tan theta is equal to the opposite side, which is y2 minus y1, all over the adjacent side, which is x2 minus x1. Example number two. Find the slope of the straight line passing through the given pairs of point. A, the point A with coordinate minus 6, 8 and B with coordinate 7, 5. B, the point P with coordinate minus 2, minus 6 and Q with coordinate 8, 4. Solution. A. Let x1, y1 be the point minus 6, 8. And x2, y2 be the point 7, 5. Then the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And this is equal to y2 is 5 minus y1, 8. Divided by x2 is 7 minus x1 which is minus 6 this will give us 5 minus 8 is 3 this will give us 5 minus 8 is minus 3 divided by 7 minus minus 6 that's 7 plus 6 is 13 so the slope of this straight line is m equal to minus 3 all over 13 also in b let x1, y1 equal to the point minus 2, minus 6. And x2, y2 be the point 8, 4. Then the slope m, which is defined as y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1, is equal to y2, which is 4, minus y1, which is minus 6, divided by x2, which is 8, minus x1 which is minus 2 4 minus minus 6 is 10 8 minus minus 2 is 10 so 10 divided by 10 will give us 1 so the slope of that line is 1 the slopes of parallel lines if two lines are parallel then their slopes are equal Proof. Draw a horizontal line and let this be line 1 that makes this angle theta 1 with the horizontal. Draw line 2 and line 2 makes an angle of theta 2 with the horizontal. Let M1 and M2 be the slopes of line 1 and line 2 respectively. Then M1 is equal to tan theta 1 by definition and M2 is equal to tan theta 2. But theta 1 is equal to theta 2. Since these two lines, since line 1 and line 2 are parallel lines, this angle theta 1 is equal to theta 2. Reason being that they are corresponding angles. If theta 1 is equal to theta 2, then tan theta 1 must be equal to tan theta 2. That is, m1 is equal to m2. The slopes of perpendicular lines. If two lines are perpendicular then the product of their slopes is minus one proof draw a horizontal line as this line let this be line one that makes an angle of theta one with the horizontal then this is line two And this line 2 make this angle of theta 2 with the horizontal. 
since line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular, that means this angle is right angle. By the exterior angle theorem of a triangle, this angle is the exterior angle of this triangle. That is, theta 1 plus 90 will give us theta 2. Which implies that theta 2 minus theta 1 is equal to 90 degrees. If theta 2 minus theta 1 is equal to 90 degrees, it follows that tan theta 2 minus theta 1 is equal to tan 90 degrees. But tan 90 degrees is equal to infinity. But tan theta 2 minus theta 1 is equal to tan theta 2 minus tan theta 1 divided by 1 plus tan theta 1 times tan theta 2. And this is equal to infinity. So let m1 equals to tan theta 1. and m2 equals to tan theta 2. Then, m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m1 times m2 is equal to infinity. If this rational expression is equal to infinity, it follows that the denominator must be equal to 0. So that is, 1 plus m1 times m2 is equal to 0. So therefore, m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. That is the product of the slope. m1 is the slope of line 1. m2 is the slope of line 2. So we have shown that the product of the two slopes is equal to minus 1. Example number 3. Find the slope of a straight line A parallel to B perpendicular to the straight line passing through the point A with coordinate 6 minus 2 and B with coordinate 4, 2. Solution. Let M1 be the required slope and M2 the slope of the line passing through the two given point A and B. Then M2 is equal to Y2 minus Y1 all over X2 minus X1 which is equal to 2 minus minus 2 divided by 4 minus 6. 2 minus minus 2 is 4. 4 minus 6 is minus 2. 4 divided by minus 2 will give us minus 2. So that's the slope of the line joining A and B. A. For parallel lines, we recall that their slopes are equal. That is M1 is equal to M2 is equal to minus 2. B. For perpendicular lines, we recall that the product of their slopes must be equal to minus 1. That is m1 times m2 is equal to minus 1. That is, since m2 is minus 2, so that will give us minus 2 times m1 is equal to minus 1. Dividing both sides of this by minus 2, we have m1 equal to Minus 1 all over minus 2, which is equal to half. Acute angle between two intersecting straight lines in terms of slope. If two straight lines having slopes M1 and M2 intersect, then the acute angle theta between them is given by Tan theta is equal to absolute value of M2 minus M1 divided by 1 plus 
m1 times m2 proof let us draw the horizontal line and let this be line 1 having slope m1 this line 1 makes angle of theta 1 with the horizontal line and let this be line 2 having slope n2 and making an angle of theta 2 with the horizontal let this be the acute angle theta between the two intersecting lines this is the angle between the acute angle between the two lines then by the exterior angle term of a triangle this angle theta is equal to theta 2 minus theta 1 which implies that tan theta is equal to tan theta 2 minus theta 1 but tan theta 2 minus tan theta 1 is equal to tan theta 2 minus tan theta 1 divided by 1 plus tan theta 2 times tan theta 1 in terms of slopes we recall that tan theta 2 is slope of line 2 so le le that is m2 and theta and tan theta 1 is slope of line 1 which is m1 so tan theta is therefore equal to m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m2 times m1 but tan theta is positive since theta is acute so therefore to ensure that this expression is positive we have to introduce the absolute value sign so that tan theta is equal to the absolute value of m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m2 times m1 example 4 a straight line passing through two points x with coordinate 3 2 and y with coordinate 6 4 intersect another straight line passing through the point p with coordinate 3 8 and q with coordinate 4 minus 2 find the acute angle between the two lines solution let m1 and m2 be the slopes of the lines x y and p q respectively then the slope of the line x y m1 is equal to 4 minus 2 divided by 6 minus 3 and that will give us 2 over 3 and the slope of pq is m2 equal to minus 2 minus 8 divided by 4 minus 3 and that will give us minus 10 recall that the formula for finding the acute angle between two intersecting straight lines is given by tan theta is equal to absolute value of m2 minus m1 divided by 1 plus m2 times m1 which is equal to m2 is minus 10 minus m1 which is 2 over 3 divided by 1 plus minus 10 times 2 over 3 evaluating this will give us 32 all over 17 if tan theta is equal to 32 over 17 it follows that theta is equal to actan 32 all over 17 which is equal to approximately 62 degrees